clavicle. <laughs> what, what was that picture from? Um, we celebrated Will Packer's 40th birthday. Will Packer is the producer of the Think Like a Man uh, franchise. And, um, whoa, yes, that's a movie. <laughs> and also, um, Kevin Hart's Ride Along Stomp the Yard. He's like an incredible, um, he's made me a lot of money. So, <laughs> but he had a, a birthday party celebrating his 40th birthday in the Bahamas. And he invited a lot of his closest friends. And we went and... Had a good time. Yeah, you he like didn't to... treat us. We had to pay for ourselves to get there. Oh. Right. But he did pay for the jet skis. So you like jet skis? You love that? I love jet skis. I started to buy some. And then my son got older. And then we moved. And I lived nowhere near water. So then that meant I had to get the truck and the trailer to put it all on. And you know what? It, I would have become a person that had jet skis in the garage. Yeah. yeah. So I didn't do it. <laughs> jet skis. <laughs> Just jet skis collecting dust. Um, the first thing that hit me when you walked out, you smell amazing. I do? Yes, everyone should wear whatever you're wearing right now. It might be it's a combination of things. Rodriguez, um, Narcisco Rodriguez, or Rodriguez Narcisco, one of those. But. It's good. <laughs> Thank you. It's really Thank good. you. Uh, when you were in the Bahamas, did you meet the locals? What, what did you do? Just stay on the yacht? No, no, no. Um, it wasn't a yacht. Oh. <laughs> we stayed at the Atlantis, and which is quite fabulous. Really? He is checking me out. I'm blowing <laughs> you away right now. Next time he's going to say his perfect woman is Taraji P. <laughs> no dig at Hallie. I love her, though. Um, that's your girl. That's what that's, you're... Yes. We have the same manager. Had the same manager in both our careers. She's got to love her to death. I was talking about the perfect woman. What's the perfect man for you? Um, the important thing, from, I need a man that can make me laugh. Mm -hmm. I, I have to, I love laughing. Uh-oh, <laughs> uh-oh, he's taking notes. Um, check. Mm -hmm. uh, I like, you know, I like suce successful men. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like, you know, to add to what I already have, you know. Mm -hmm. Um. I like a smart man that can challenge me mentally, stimulate my mind, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and it's not really for me, it's not about, I mean, I, I have to be able to uh, look at him, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but I don't have this thing where he has to look like Brad Pitt, has to have Brad Pitt's nose and, yeah, you know, know, Tyrese's skin. I mean, I'm not like that. Like, yeah. I'm open. I'm yeah. open, you know? Okay, uh, Let's take a commercial, and I want to discuss this a little more. There might be a dinner here later. I'll be right back with Taraji. <laughs> Trash, like that rich kid said. But I don't say that. Because I don't focus on the past. I focus on potential. And I work hard to realize mine. And I expect the same of you. A new movie from The Rough. Uh, tell us briefly what that's about. Okay, so um, Dr. Katana Starks was, was the first woman to ever coach an all-men's golf team on the collegiate level. She took them to the NCAA championship her first year on taking on the position and they won the championship. And their record has yet to be broken today. Yeah. And um, she's an amazing woman. So this was coming from their first tournament and they really, they blew it. They blew it, their attitude was bad, no sportsmanship. And so she takes them out to brunch afterwards and they're talking and the waitress comes over and, and um, mistakes her for the bus driver. So not only is she bad about them messing up, <laughs> she's also been insulted. So she takes them outside and she rips them a new one. <laughs> now, now the tone that you took, did you get to meet the real lady? I did. And um, she is amazing. Uh, we had our premiere last night and she looked like she was just floating on a cloud. And, you know, she is a, a historical figure to me now. Like, she's, she's totally left an amazing legacy. She, just what, what she was able to accomplish in a male-driven sport. I mean, she just, she just blows me away. She's my hero. But I met her, and she's really short. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they say little things come in small packages. Big things come in small packages. Yes, yes. No shit. Yes.
but I remember talking to her before we went into principal photography. How important was it to her that I walk like her, look like her, talk? I don't, I don't, I'm... And I'm a fan of yours, just tell my story. So that took the pressure off a little bit. And to come on set and what, ha what started happening is I would go off book, you know, I would go off script and start ad-libbing, and she would be in Video Village like, oh my God, that's exactly how I would say it. That's exactly what I would found do. Her, yeah. I found her organically, which is how I like to work. Yeah, and in addition to all the interesting things you're telling us, Michael Clark Duncan yeah. is in this movie and it was his yeah. last? Yeah, it was his last project before he passed. Um, it's, uh, it's funny because in the film, he plays... His character is sort of like my guardian angel. He's like my eyes and ears around the department when they're conspiring to get rid of me. Yes, and in a spiritual way, I feel like he was the guardian angel that kind of helped this project get distributed. Because we filmed this two, in 2010, so it took a minute for us to get the money. And an African-American leading a film, you know, they always say we can't open movies, but we shall prove them wrong this week. <laughs> Go check it out. I know you love sports. As a matter of fact, are you a Thunder fan? Thunder up, baby. Okay, okay. Steve. Oh. Oh. Uh -oh. The hate. The hate. It's painful. The now, now, wait a minute. Maybe I've done my research wrong. Uh, but you want to ask me why I'm not a Wizards fan? Well, yes, and it seems like... Well, they shouldn't have named, changed the name. They should have oh, left like them the bullets. bullets. Yeah. But bullets just sound Bullets so is more intimidating. I, well, I know bullets were flying in, in uh, uh, Washington, D.C. during that time. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, no, I'm more into squads. I like players. So I'm, I'm not like a diehard for this team. The only team that I'm really I'm down for like that is my Washington Redskins. I just pray that RG can stay healthy. Those knees, I'm a little nervous. Yeah. But I will pray and come to do that. On your knees, RG, because we're going to the Super Bowl this year. <laughs> but, um. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mr. Miyagi on his knees. Um, no, but I'm into players. I like squads. <laughs> Let's talk acting. You've taken a lot of chances as an actress. You don't just take stuff for the money or take the simple choices. No, I feel like art should challenge you. Art should challenge you to think. Um, and it shouldn't be safe. Life isn't safe. Art, cre art imitates life. And how are you gonna, how are you gonna do it if you don't challenge people to think? You know, um, I don't judge my characters. That's y'all's job. <laughs> you know um, Talking about feeling some type of way. <laughs> Watching a favorite character get killed like I recently saw you killed. That was, I mean, what was your opinion about that when you first read it? I took that bullet like a G! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What happened to your character on Full of Interest? <laughs> yeah. People are still shook. I mean, I will tweet, good morning, God is good. I have missed you on Present Adventures. Who do I need to write? And I'm like, no, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> but um, I feel good because I feel like in some way I've, I've impacted people's lives. That character touched people deeply to the point where it's months later. I have moved on. Mm -hmm. I have fabulous projects coming up. Uh, you know, and they're still affected. Yeah. You know, I, I, that, that's a pat on my back because I did something right. <laughs> Thank, you. Um, Thank you. Have you ever done something that in the moment of executing your art, it was kind of scary? Well, yes. The moment that stands out for me was when I had to take my clothes off. John Singleton and Baby Boy pretend like I was, you know, being a grown-up, doing things in the bedroom. Yeah, yeah. You've seen Baby Boy. You know the scene I'm talking about. <laughs> but now you and Tyrese are friends, so does that make it easy? If it had been someone strange well, or me... Well, we just met on that film. We had, <laughs> we had just met on that film. And, you know, you sign up. You know what you have to do. You read, you read it. I read the script. I, it wasn't a surprise. So you worked that all out in the contract or whatever. So I knew what I had to do. But, um... It doesn't mean that I wasn't nervous. I mean, I got to the set. I dealt with my nerves the night before. I took my clothes off, looked in the mirror, and dealt with everything that Taraji did not like about Taraji's body. Mm -hmm. So that when I did the scene the next day, it wouldn't be about Taraji because Taraji wouldn't make a sex video. Mm -hmm. No shit. Mm -hmm. But 
Yvette is in the room with her man, and so Taraji does not exist in that moment. So I had to deal with Taraji's stuff the night before. Tyrese did not, however. How did he act? Oh, no, he was great. He was great, but he was in the corner basically crying. I, oh, I don't want to do this. I'm in the robe. I'm like, Tyrese, okay, babe, we, we have to get through this thing. Um, I know you... Why, don't, why are you it? making... Sh what are you you coming out here lying to these people talking about I'm in the corner wait, crying. Wait, wait, wait. Nobody crying. Okay, I'm a grown ass man when I'm looking like crying in the corner. I'm not having it, man. You were not. You were so you so you were not afraid to take your clothes off in that thing. Ain't nobody afraid to take no clothes off. <laughs> secret that baby boy even though she had been acting way more than i was prior baby boy was my first role yeah. so i didn't know what the definition of method I know tyrese this doesn't mean we really get to have intercourse <laughs> you have to use sense memory <laughs> keep your bottom on <laughs> we're shooting yep. from Tell the up. truth. Tell the truth. Oh. We was in the trailer Tell going the over truth. this scene. Taraji came at me in the I trailer. I'm like, this. yo, hold on. It's, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We, we, we just acted, man. Right? You know, we I'm just sure. acted. I'm just playing. <laughs> You, you all you all developed a lifetime friendship after yeah. that. Listen, huh? this is my best friend forever. Ever. I'm telling you, man, we stuck by the hip. <laughs> a life. Yeah, a life. She can always call you. I'm always. I'll call him and be like, I read, I'm sad. And he'll be like, what's wrong, babe? <laughs> <laughs> got her back forever, man. I wish a mother would. Henson. Don't worry about it. I muted myself. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. Know about the rules, baby. I know about the rules. Everybody, please thank Tyrese. Thank you, Tyrese. When we come back, Taraji and I are going to play a game called Have You Ever Made a Sex Tape? Yes. Okay, uh, Mimi Faust and Nico from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta hit a whole new level of fame this week when they released their sex tape. Yeah, they're selling out of shower rods everywhere. Yeah! Oh, I have no more shower rods. I ordered several myself. <coughs> those are strong, those strong Home Depot shower rods. The subject of sex tapes, just, just very briefly, yes or no, has anyone ever asked you to make one? No, they're not crazy. They don't, yeah, they don't, they don't, they don't even go there with you. No. It's insane. No. You have to leave your phone in, outside. Yeah. By the umbrella at the mat. No, in your car. In your car. <laughs> I don't even want pictures of my threshold no, on the camera. Not even of my toes. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, but but there are a lot of people out there who are making sex tapes at home themselves. Wow. Uh, yeah. Shit. That's why it's time to play. Have you ever made a sex tape? Yeah. Yeah. I went out to the original farmers market and I talked to people. I found out a little bit about them so Taraji could observe and, and see what they're like. And then we're going to guess whether that, that, that person has made a sex tape or not. We'll guess whether that person has made a sex tape. Uh, you ready Do for I the win first? money? Oh. Uh, Is this about to make a deal? <laughs> I'm not Monty Hall, but I can't be your Hall. Okay, let's look at the first one. You ready? <laughs> yes. Check this out. What's your name? Bill. Bill and... Vicky. And you all are married? We 30 are. Years? 30 years. 30 years. We're pretty proud of that fact. Yeah. What's, what's the secret? Keeping a woman happy. Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> you have children. To, you have children. We do. Three. Yes. Three. Yeah, because you have to have date night. You have to keep it fresh. So the big question of the day out here is, have you ever done a sex tape? <laughs> Really? You're saying they did. What do you all think? Yeah! yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, my man back here say no. I'm they still made trying it. to fool us. No. No, they did. No. They had to have. You see the steam is still there. They're like kissing all over each other. Okay, let's find out if they made one. Answer. Have you ever done a sex tape? Yes. yes. Damn. Can we admit that on my TV? You were right. Freaks come in all shapes and sizes. <laughs> and they had just come from that game show. But yeah, that's what gave it away. If you oh. wear t-shirts, you want to be seen. They made a sex tape. Yes. Mm. <laughs> come on down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's find out more about those two. Check this out. If you decided to let it go public, would you get Chris Kardashian to do the deal? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> now, Kim was the role in, and, you know. <laughs> okay. He's talking about a menage. He went crazy. He took it to a whole other level. Yeah. Okay, uh, you ready for another one? Yeah, sure. Okay, here's some people <laughs> from the original Farmer's Market. What's your name? Vanessa. That's pretty. Thank you. Do you have a boyfriend? I don't. Okay. And what are your hobbies? Mm, I like to bike ride on the beach a lot. I mm -hmm. like to hike. I like to go out for wine. Mm -hmm. And I love music. Have you ever sent a man a nude selfie? I'm all about honesty, so yes. Yeah. I have. Right. And what was the selfie like? Oh, you want me to show you? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Have you ever asked a man for a selfie? Yeah. I can't imagine somebody wanting a, a, a selfie of a guy, you know. I mean, I think it's kind of hot. That's why. Those V muscles? Yeah, Come I, on. See, I, 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 ain't had, I ain't had a V muscle since 62. That's right. <laughs> but, but here's the thing Have you ever made a sex tape? Mm -hmm. Yes. So you're saying yes. She's one step away. She's oh, yeah. Tell you the truth. Right. right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Has a man ever sent you a selfie, a, a, a sexy selfie, like me and her were talking about? Explain. Somebody scream Tyrese. Well, well, I say explain sexy, like, or. Well, she was talking about naked. that V thing, and so I'm, I'm assuming naked. You want to see? Hey. hey. <laughs> has a man? Yeah. Really, a man is, and, and did it work? Was it a positive? Uh, uh, I mean, did you, did it help his cause? It helped his cause. Yeah. Okay. It helped his cause. Okay, I'm, I'm slowly getting all the information I need. <laughs> Let's find out, did this lady who made a selfie make a sex tape? Have you sure. ever made a sex tape? No. She's lying. She's lying. Yeah. Because whoever she broke up with, she's trying to get him back. Look, this is an actor. I'm making up the back. <laughs> she had the whole story. Whoever she broke up with, she's trying to get him back. So she couldn't say yes because it wasn't with him. Ooh. That's interesting. Okay, uh, let's do one more. Okay, okay. Okay, check this out. What's your name? My name is Lavazier, but oh, I go by the name it. of Poppy. Yeah. <laughs> Where were you born? I was born in San Pablo, California, which is the Bay Area. Are you married? Yes. How long have you been married? 
13 years. Okay, it's time for me to ask you a question. The moment of truth. Have you ever made a sex tape? Mm -hmm. You know what? It's Ron, you didn't even think about this one. As soon as he said Lavazier, I was like, yes. <laughs> And I, I, I would go with you. I bet he made one. I bet he did it in his glasses. <laughs> it's a boost or not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, let's find out if Poppy made a sex tape. Ooh. Have you ever made a sex tape? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dr. Rising, uh, that's not all he had to say. Uh, this one was very interesting. Check this out. With the wife or before the wife? With the wife. With the wife. Without her knowing. Oh, so she is that so? Oh, shit. Well, 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 you haven't shown it to her? I haven't done it. Have you watched she it again? Down. Oh, all the time. I mean, when I'm getting ready for my wife, uh -huh. I go in my little secret corner. Right. Watch the tape. Yeah. Like, yeah, you got to do a little better than what you did last time. Yeah. Is it, um, is it anything to video somebody when they don't know? Before this airs on my show, you might want to tell her that there was a video going on that night. I am going to do that. And uh, you're going to have to take her to dinner after you tell her. <laughs> I'll pay for dinner. Yeah, look at all this. That's all the time we have for. Have you ever made a sex tape? <laughs> I want to remind you one more time, because this is important to me. Go out and check out Taraji's movie. It's called From the Rough. We're going, because we love you. Thank you. We'll be back in the theaters tomorrow, next Earth, Wind, and Fire.